What's up, YouTubers? Jeff from GearTube TV. It is early. And when I say early, I mean early. It is. Uh. Obey traffic laws. Yep. It is 3.25 a.m. <laughs> 3.25. Uh, I worked Thursday night. I did not go to bed yesterday morning. When I got home from work, I immediately started working on the Jeep, getting everything ready for today. I went to bed last night around 7.30-ish, something like that, 7.30, yeah, and uh, slept till 2.30. So that's the only sleep I've had since uh, Thursday when I woke up for work at 5 p.m. or 4 p.m., whatever it was. Anyway, enough of that rambling. It is 3.25 a.m., Today's the day, October 28th, 2017. YouTube call it Oktoberfest. I just stopped here at a Rudders to get um, a bite to eat and some drinks for the road. So with that said, we're gonna get on the road and we'll catch back up with you. Uh, should see a nice sunrise. If not, well then we won't. <laughs> Either way, we'll see you at Cease County Dragway. Well, <laughs> it's the end of the line. Uh, not good. It is, I don't even know what time. <sighs> it is 4.30. It's been basically an hour of driving and I've got issues. Um, I'm having brake issues. You probably can't even see me because I'm that kind of upset. Uh, my trailer brakes are locking up while I'm driving. I don't know if it's an electrical issue because it's an electric, what do they call it, electric hydraulic or something like that. But um, you can't even see. Uh, there's some sort of box. And basically as I'm driving, my brakes are locking up on me. And the best part is, I don't have any tools. And supposedly, I could back the brakes basically all the way off, and then there would be no trailer brakes at all. Um, and that's not exactly safe either. Uh, I am at a Liberty gas station. I don't even know, I'm in Maryland. I know that much, um, off of 140. Maryland 140 <laughs> so I gotta sit here for one until these brakes cool down and you know I couldn't figure out what was going on <clears throat> as I'm driving along the further and further I got from home oh man that stinks uh, wow those brakes uh, the further and further I got from home it became harder and harder to tow and I mean it was just I know that it's got some weight. The trailer, the trailer's pretty heavy because of the wood decking. And obviously the Jeep's got some weight to it too. So I knew that there would be, you know, I'd be able to feel weight back there. I get that. But I couldn't even maintain speed going downhill or going straight. So when it became an issue that I couldn't hold speed going straight or downhill, I'm like, there's something up. There's gotta be something wrong here. So I pulled off, I'm in some shopping plaza here. Uh, they're, they're like burning hot. Uh, I did see smoke at one point when I got to where there were some street lights. <sighs> so yeah, here I am. Um, I am probably still, ooh. I'm gonna guess 45 minutes away from Cecil County, and I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> if I drive 45 minutes with this loaded yet, I, it's only gonna cause more damage. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sit here or sleep here <laughs> for a little bit until I can get somebody with some tools or there's a. Um, some sort of garage that was back this way i'd thought i saw a whole bunch of vehicles and looked like uh, like a mechanic um 
so I can try to get out of here. It's either that or I drive, you know, 15 miles at a time and then stop and pull over. I'm, I'm so at a loss. I've spent so much time getting ready for this. And here I sit in a parking lot. Well, if anybody wants to see the Jeep, I don't know how well you can see it, but there it is. The hood's on it, windshield frame. I even shined up the tires, put all kinds of glossy tire shine on it. Because I wanted it to look as good as possible, you know, going to this event. And. Yeah, it's just not going to matter because I'm not going to make it. And unfortunately, these were new tires. And I can tell you now, they're going to have some bolt spots <clears throat> and all kinds of stuff like that. So... For the sake of the YouTube call out, I hope everybody enjoys themselves because I'm not going to make it. Sucks. So anyway, that's that. Can't wait to watch your, your guys' videos of it. Well, anyway, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and deal with this the best I can. See ya. Okay, it is 7.40 a.m. 7.40. And I'm just now pulling into the house. Yes, you're going to actually see my house. Um, what a mess of a day. probably really loud and now you're probably upside down yeah as a matter of fact I know you're upside down all right let's get out here 741 and I left Westminster Maryland at 430 three hours to get home to where I'm at in what would normally take an hour and a half roughly um, all right well there's the Jeep I know I didn't really want to show everybody but since I'm not gonna make it to the YouTube call out I might as well record it um, the front end's been all repainted as far as that tow bar and everything the frame has been repainted windshield frames on soft tops on nothing really done with the interior like I said and the rear end has been painted that bumper and all that kind of stuff there's the tailgate Now, again, it does need some final prep work before paint. And you can see some of the inconsistencies and how it needs sanded. Again, frame was painted. And I 
did get the hood on. And, uh, you know, I was so excited. Like I said, I put tire shine on. I got the tires cleaned up and shined up. And look here also. I don't know if you can see this or not. But this tire, this tire is actually bent somehow. I don't know if I can get an angle to show you. There's something up with that compared to the rear. There you can see a little bit of the difference. So I don't know what's up with that. Looks like all the studs are okay, but you can kind of hear it. I don't know. If, maybe that damn hub broke. Maybe that's why I was having issues. Look at the, the difference in that. There's an offset. What the hell? Something's not right. That's like the axle shifted or something, because look over here. This side looks normal, though. <laughs> well, not really. There's a difference there, too, between these two axles. What is going on? Something's wrong. I don't know. I gotta I'm gonna unload some of this stuff and get these straps off the Jeep and I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. And then um oh wait, yeah, there you can see. There is look at this. Look at the difference. And no, that's not like a camera angle trick. There's something legitimately wrong between the rear and the front on both sides. Take a look at that other side again. And I apologize if you can't hear me or there's a bunch of noise. Wow, man, something's wrong. That was either caused by the issues I was having or that is the cause of the issues I was having. Holy smokes. All right, well. I'm gonna get some weight off the truck by putting that jack down. is thanking me at this point. Some of that weight off of it. Um, shoo. My caramba. Okay, well. I'm glad I decided not to continue now that I'm getting a good look at it in the daylight. Man, if I would have snapped... <laughs> If I'd have snapped an axle completely off or something like that, I'd be in worse shape than what I am right now. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, anyway, if you wanted to see the new Gear Tube TV shirts, this is the hoodie. And then uh, obviously there's a design on the back. If you're interested in those, you'll be able to find the link in the description. I'll get back to you though with what I find out here before I finish this video up. And uh, yeah, back with you a little bit later. Okay, so it is Sunday. I'm in the garage. The acoustics are probably terrible. There's probably a bad echo. It's Sunday, October 29th. And just to finish up this video, um, I was gonna give away some free stuff at the call out so i'm still going to give away some free stuff 
I know a lot of people are very sensitive and when it comes to giving your address out and things like that. And I realize that. Um, that's why I was going to give free stuff there. But I still want to give out free stuff. So I have a hundred stickers. Um, you can put them on a, like a car window or something like that, like a decal, but it is actually a sticker. It's not die cut or anything like that. I found it looks nice on a toolbox. So I'm going to give a hundred of those away. Here's how to do it. Send me a message here on YouTube. If you go to my channel and you go to the about, there should be a button to send a message. If you want a sticker, send me a message. I'll put it in the mail. Um, you know, I'll pay the postage and everything because it's nobody's fault that I couldn't make it but the trailer. <laughs> so again, if you want a free sticker, just send me a message, give me your address and I'll get it in the mail to you and get them sent out this coming week and you can expect it within a couple days. So a disappointing day, but it is what it is. Life goes on. It's very frustrating. Uh, I was really hoping this would be an opportunity to boost subscriber counts and it doesn't seem that it really helped because I wasn't there. So this is Jeff at GearTube TV. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.